Hi kids, it's Reverend James here at Children's Time. Hope you're all doing well. Happy Easter again. We celebrated Easter last Sunday and today is the second Sunday of Easter. And today we hear a story about Thomas, one of Jesus's friends, who wasn't with the disciples when Jesus first appeared to them. And so he said, well, I don't, I don't believe you guys. I, I need to see Jesus myself. And then, in, in fact, Jesus does come the next week and is amongst them. And Thomas realizes, understand, Jesus truly has risen from the dead, as he did on Easter. So check this out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus appears to Thomas. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. What? Hey Jesus appeared to his disciples to show them that he was alive. One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. Hey! Hey Thomas! Later the disciples told Thomas, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands. Put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Oh, hey guys. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. So two of the important uh, takeaways from this encounter with Jesus and the disciples, and especially Thomas, I think is peace and forgiveness. So what's the first thing Jesus says to his disciples is peace be with you. Because they were scared. They were, they were locked behind the doors in the, the upper room for fear of the authorities, fear of what might happen to them, fear that when when in fact Jesus does come around, uh, come, there he's going to be angry with them because they abandoned men, abandoned Jesus. He died alone, but in fact Jesus says, "Peace be with you." That Jesus only wants us, all people, to have have peace, and that just doesn't mean an, an absence of violence or an absence of war. It means a uh, peace in our hearts, at peace with our lives, at peace with the world, knowing that God loves us. And the second thing is, is forgiveness, that Jesus forgives Thomas for doubting, the disciples forgive Thomas, and Jesus, in fact, asks them to go out and make sure everyone knows God's forgiveness and everyone works for reconciliation and forgiveness. <clears throat> so those are the two important things that Jesus asks us to do, is to be peacemakers, to bring peace in our world, in our families, our schools, our communities, to be able to reconcile people and, and everything. And the second thing is forgiveness, to ask for forgiveness when, when we've done something wrong, 
or has hurt someone, and then in turn to forgive others when they ask us for, for forgiveness. I found this little poem. It's about the time when Thomas met Jesus on that, that Easter, and it's written from his perspective in the style of Dr. Seuss. Well, we had all gone hiding, and we wondered what to do. Our lives, our dreams, all broken, and God seemed absent too. Now, saviors are not supposed to die, but save us with God's power. At least that's what I used to think before that strange encounter. Absent was I the night he came, I don't remember what doing. We had not trusted Mary's word, the Lord I've seen proclaiming. Impossible, preposterous. How could she believe such things? She's just a woman we knew, in grieving to him she clings. And then he spoke. Here's what he said. Peace be with you, my friends. They must have looked all startled then, cause peace, he said again. Amazed, remembered they his word the night before he died. God's peace he'd bring to us in life. Our joy would be multiplied. But then a strange thing happened, why Jesus appeared once more. He came right up before me, even without opening the door. No condemnation in his eyes, no judgment on his tongue, no halo, overwhelming light, just presence, wounds, and love. My knees they shook, my eyes were blurred, a realist I always had been. In his presence I blurted out, my Lord and God, who'd risen. Amen. So let's end today with uh, our Lord's Prayer and we'll pray with our actions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, have a blessed week, everyone. Take care. Bye.